The sound is definitely wonky with this one. All right, so welcome back everyone. Um, this video isn't necessarily as much content as it is kind of a, a video hoping you guys can help me troubleshoot. Um, in the process of actually going through and putting video together and doing things so you guys had some more content on my channel, uh, I ran into an issue. Um, you'll notice that both of these have their steering wheels back on them and so in preparation um, for the, my two new shifters to show up from eBay this week, I went ahead and got both of them in drivable condition. The one on the right, I've actually went through and adjusted in the past, at least with the gas and brake, but the, the steering wheel needed to be centered. Um, over on the left, I wasn't sure. I had, in this case, the steering back off. There were no pedals at all. And so I went through and I was putting them all back together and then going through and testing and playing, testing and playing, testing and playing, trying to get everything working. Uh, that's when I ran into this really strange issue. Let, let's go ahead and see if you can actually hear it. Alright, so in case you were a little befuddled or confused as to what I was trying to go ahead and let you listen to, especially because I was using my lapel mic, is I've got an intermittent sound corruption issue. Um, it's weird because the bleeps and the bloops that you hear, and that's what I'm going to refer to them as, are basically PCM Lyric uh, sound bites just randomly going in and out. Um, I'm saying PCM, PCM sound bites because I'm assuming that anything that's got uh, human voice is probably some kind of voice sample that's stored on the FROM itself, whereas any of the actual instrumentation is nothing more than MIDI. Um, it's difficult for MIDI, the MIDI file to be corrupt, but a sound file, as far as something being pre-recorded, it can be. Now, again, it was only intermittent. I was confused, really, really confused. And then the really strange thing happened uh, was that in attract mode, both machines ended up being off sync, and so you can go ahead, you can listen to that, because that's, that's really a tell at this point. All right, so I was I was starting to get concerned, but at the same time I was like, whatever. So I turned it off, thinking that hey, so there's a data connection between the two. Maybe that's off. Uh, I went ahead and I pulled off all the toss links. I went ahead and I reconnected them, and I mean all of them. I pulled them off of the the cage inside of the machines. I pulled them off the back. I reseated everything. Turned it back on. Boom! Everything was good to go. All right, so. I went back to what I was doing, the, the pedals need to be readjusted, they were all off. Um, the steering was actually good on the, on the uh, left unit. And then I decided to go ahead and play. Um, I played and the sound corruption happened again. Now I don't have any video because my wireless uh, mic setup is leaving a lot to be desired at this point. However, I decided to do the first head-to-head -head, uh, race with these machines and my wife uh, co-starred the video and so it really didn't happen until after we were done racing and it wasn't even right at the beginning of attract mode it happened a little bit into it yeah there it is so i'm hoping that was noticeable i noticed at the point once i once i pointed that to my wife she even noticed it and you know i i'm i'm concerned to the point that it shouldn't be corrupted or that shouldn't happen but I'm not concerned because it's intermittent if it were an issue um, in this case 
You're talking to PCM corruption in one of the EPROMs? It would be all the time. It's not all the time. It's intermittent. Um, I'm, I'm thinking it might be just an electrical gremlin. I, I have a Volkswagen, I've told you, I'm going to go through and show you a video of that. Uh, but there's a lot of random grounds that aren't connected. Like, there's definitely a ground inside the steering mix that's a bullet connector. Is it a bullet connector or is it a Molex connector? It's a Molex connector that goes nowhere. Um, there's bullet connectors on both pedals that, for ground, and, and green is ground in this machine, um, typical to most AC settings, and it goes nowhere. Uh, on top of it, the jail bars that were on this monitor, and I had jail bars going across even after I replaced um, all of the, uh, the, the hot, the HDT, and the voltage regulator, uh, along with the cap kit, and I had jail bars still. And all of a sudden, the jail bars have now disappeared once I hooked the steering mech back up. So, I, I'm not really sure where to go with this. Number one, I don't want to just shotgun ideas at it. I don't want to be like, well, let's try this, let's try that. Because I could go search on the internet and find lots of different issues and treat this exactly how I did in this case with the monitor chassis, but I just, I don't want to do that. So what I'm hoping is you guys out there in the audience um, have an idea for me and maybe can point me in the right direction. Uh, I'm going to post this on YouTube, obviously, that's where you're watching it. I'm also going to post this on Reddit. Um, at least a video to it, along with kind of the description and a couple of the forums, hoping somebody can go ahead and give me a solid hit or an idea where to go. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not super concerned. Uh, I just like it fixed, especially because you're talking, the shifters are going to show up this week, and I've got some of my friends are all like, when are we getting invites? When are we coming over? And, I've, you know, my neighbor's been like, oh my God, I sent him a picture. He's like, they're both up, let's go. And so it's, it's, it's going to get used, and I don't want it to be randomly like, hold on. I have to restart it, and even the restart isn't all the time to fix. Sometimes you can go into a game, start a race, come back out of the race, and everything's, everything's smooth again. So, I, I, I don't know. Um, I'm hoping you guys have an answer for me, or at least can kind of point me in the right direction, even if it's not Daytona-based, maybe it's any kind of arcade-based with any kind of PCM, uh, PCM audio. But uh, again, thank you. Like, subscribe, get this some attention. Share it if you know somebody might be able to help me. And you can go ahead and you can post a comment at the bottom. If I posted this somewhere else, um, either send me, a, send me a DM, go ahead and just post in the thread. I don't necessarily care, but if you've got an idea, I'm all ears at this point. Uh, let's get these things rolling. Now you're talking 25 years old, and they're still pretty solid, but let's make them as perfect as we can. So uh, until next time, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep playing and seeing if I can maybe figure this out. So i got to switch sides. So see you.